So we're in the process of getting this thing rectified. As you can see, we ran our main line. And this line was not protected, so we went ahead and we installed. This is a six-way DC panel combiner box from Midnight Solar. And in our combiner box, these smaller wires are designated to each string. So these smaller wires are 10 AWG DC wires. So we have four reds, four blacks. So that's four different strings, three panels per string. So we are wiring 12 panels. So here are the 12 panels and uh, these are forged together. So we weren't able to actually straighten them out, but at least the electrical side of it is being sorted out properly. So we pulled out all the old wires, replaced it with 6AWG for the main. So this is a wire that can handle high amperage and DC current, pure copper. So that brings me back to our, the point that we made in part one, that wire is not just wire. Uh, there are different wires designed for different installation purposes. Uh, just like if you are going to be doing uh, sound equipment, you would not use these wires. You'd use the proper wire for sound equipment as well. So, you know, wire is not wire. So we use a industrial silicone that will just keep any water or small insects out. So once everything is centralized in the combiner box, there will be four breakers in there to control the four different circuits uh, on the 12 panels. And then that leaves and goes right down into the control room where everything will be centralized. Solar specialists on the work site. Customers always ask this question, you know, what size room do I need? Well, the size of the room always depends on the size of the solar system. So this is a fairly small system. And we have a fairly small room which is attached to the back of the house. But it houses everything well and uh, it works. So, you know, this is a fairly small room. The room is long, but it's pretty narrow as you can see. Uh, but it works. I prefer a space that you can stand in comfortably. But uh, this one's about five feet, it's a little bit low. Uh, but still a lot taller than some I've seen before and of course we are working with what was already in place so this is an existing system we're just doing uh, basically a disassemble and reassemble on the job So here's a sneak peek as we continue to work. So here are the pipes that were in uh, part one that were not, um, there was no PVC cement or tangent in the couplings. It wasn't strapped on the wall or anything like that. So everything was loose. And we're also going to fix this hole right here. This is not supposed to happen because water will come down and travel along the pipes and possibly end up on the equipment. So we're also going to add some cement right there. Just patch that little hole. And here's our system that's still under construction right now. So we'll show you the finished product shortly. Here we have our earth rod for the 
main earth for the inverter this earth will also be bonded to the main earth of the house so the first thing we did after we disassembled the system we treated the board that everything is mounted on uh, we treated it for insects so that will give you a much longer lasting board it's varnished both on the front and on the back as well and it's also treated with a uh, termite repellent one of the most important thing on any circuit well the most important connection would be your connection to earth because that is what protects you this is still a work in progress so as you can see we have all our earthing in place which leads out to our main earth outside so the system has its own earthing and the main earthing for the system will then be bonded to the earth of the house the main earth for the house so everything is tied in and the earth is the most important connection on the entire system that's what gives you your overall protection on the system and uh, the original system was not earthed at all there was no grounding on it all right so this is the final product as you can see everything look a lot different now everything is simplified and neat and that's it very simple solar system using the same equipment that were already here we just dismantle it and rewire everything properly here we have the customer Mr. X <laughs> so we don't know Mr. X you want to say anything to the camera yeah. Excellent job, man. I tell you, please are the work, man. Yeah. This work looks like it has come down from China. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a you. package. <laughs> please, man. Please, I tell you. 100%, man. Compared to what we did come see. We were here before, you know. Yeah. This excellent Someday, job, man. Yeah. When I touch the current, man, it come like a speed fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Excellent job, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Come yeah, on, touch it, sir. All right, yeah, sir. Come on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what, what kind of problems you were having before before we came? Because the system was already there was already a system in place. You now we just came and basically redid it. Yeah, what yeah. kind of problems were you having? Well, I, I just pure problem. No. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> all problem. Not the Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, all problem. Okay. Yeah, man. Man, 100%, you know? Everything up and running now, man. So, you know, maximum respect. So. You know? Alright. As installers offering a service to the public, we must do better to ensure that customers who are unaware of what to expect still get a proper job. Um, it is up to the individual's uh, morality. Because uh, it is our responsibility as electricians to ensure that we do proper electrical work. That's just my take on the whole thing. And here is one of the most beautiful sunsets you'll ever see. That's the sun and that's the sea. And if you can see the guardian sea right here. 